Hey, this is Tyler with the Design Company. So today's video, I'm going to go over uh, the different HDMI versions, uh, cables, ports on equipment, and so on. Uh, kind of a brief history of HDMI and the versions that are available. Uh, obviously, people think that you can just run any HDMI cable to uh, hook up your system, and that's not the case. Uh, 2017 being the main chapter, so I'm going to really dive into all the details there. And uh, if you have a home or even a business or a home theater that's uh, been wired or using cables below 2017 year, uh, you're probably going to want to do an update. I've also uh, linked some of our favorite cables off Amazon. Uh, most of the cables we use are obviously not from Amazon, but there are some good ones that we've bought off there. So there's some links below in the description. And uh, here's the history of uh, HDMI versions. Thanks a lot. All right, so first HDMI version, 2002. That supported eight channels of uncompressed audio and data up to 4.95 gigabits. Version 1.1 at 2004, that added DVD audio support. And then 1.2 in 2005, that added Super Audio CD support. And then 1.2A at the end of 2005, that added the CEC control. So that's what lets you do, if you turn your TV on, turns the receiver on, vice versa, lets you control Blu-ray player and so on. So a super nice feature when they added that. And then 2006, version 1.3. So that added output of TrueHD and DTS, also known from 7-channel. Type-C connector, which started to be on some computer monitors. And then 2006, added audio control commands. Version 1.4, this was also a very significant update in 2009, which added video support for 4K. It also added your uh, high-speed Ethernet and 3D display update. So that was a pretty crucial update. All right, 2010, 1.4a, that added some additional 3D support options. 2011, introduced 1.4b, just some minor HDMI updates. 2013, version 2.0, this was another significant update. Uh, you can see there's some UHD applications, higher bandwidth, and then audio channels up to 32. And then 2.0a, added support for HDR. 2016, 2.0B, HDR10 support, also known Dolby Vision. And then 2017, this is a very significant update. So you can see support for up to 10K, mainly 8K. But here's where you get the object-based audio, such as Dolby Atmos, and then the added support, such as eARC, and the ultimate bandwidth of up to 48 gigabits. Really no updates in uh, 2022, except for some tone mapping features. And then 2023, it says there's a version 2.1B, I haven't seen any significant updates. And then last, just a quick pinout on the HDMI cabling. And then just kind of a, an end of this or an outro, I just wanted to note. So in 2017 is when they came out with Dolby Atmos over the HDMI and the eARC. So if you currently run any of your HDMI devices into your TV and you don't have eARC, and you're running that ARC audio return channel down to a receiver that's modern, you're absolutely not getting Dolby Atmos. So something to think about on that. And then vice versa, if you have an older device, it's uh, say a Dolby Atmos uh, rated player, but it doesn't have the higher bandwidth cable. So you're running a, an older version 1.4 cable. It's a good chance you're not getting the Dolby Atmos through that or a DTS, Aurora 3D and so on. All right. Thanks for watching this video through. Um, please subscribe. I've got a couple videos coming up. I've got one that's uh, pretty cool. That's got uh, the difference between optical arc and e-arc. All right. Thanks again.